first thing is first, let's put our hair up in a ponytail and let's moisturize our face. You guys already know I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. You can use any that works for you. Just make sure that goes very well into my skin. Then I move in with the Skin uh, Nivea for Men, the Post Shave Balm as my primer. All over my face, make sure everything is sucked in by my pores. And then I move on to my eyes. We're going to start with the eyes. I'm using a concealer just to pretty much uh, get my eyes to one tone. And I'm just blending with a concealer brush. I'm going in with the Murphy 350N, which is the new one that came out, which is the matte one. I'm grabbing that little orangey color right about there. And with a buffering brush, I'm just buffing all that on my crease, creating a pretty much really large transition color. I'm buffing, blending, all the good stuff. Then with that darker brown, any dark brown that you have would work, and a smaller uh, shader brush, I'm going to apply that on my crease a little bit closer to my lid just to create a little definition in that smoky color. I do that to both of my eyes, also blending up, make sure that there's no harsh lines. Then with that white color, which is like the lightest color that they have, I'm packing that onto my lid and I'm packing, packing, making sure that it's light because I want it really light. And then I go in just to cover the dark. I go in with this Girlactic liner, which is my holy grail liner. And I'm so glad I got it in my birch box this month because I love this liner. And I'm just winging it out. You can do a thin line, you can do whatever you wish. I like to do a little bit thicker of a wing when I'm applying lashes in this specific look. Just work your magic with the wing liner. And the reason why I love this Girlactic uh, liner is because the tip is just so small, so thin, and it's super easy to work on your eyelid. Then I'm applying mascara. I like to apply mascara to my, my lashes instead of the falsies. Then I'm moving in with the falsies from Isabella Hair Note. I'm going to leave the information down below. These are their Venezia um, style and I love them because they are so fluffy and I just love how they just take the form and I just apply them easily. Then I like to go in with a little bit of liner just to cover that lash line and make sure that it looks good. And then moving on to the face, cover all this crazy ugliness. I'm using my Born This Way with the Milani 2-in-1 just to get the perfect color but I love them together they're a bomb and of course with the damn beauty blender we are blending everything away making sure my face is the same color as my neck and the rest of my body please moving on to highlights concealer I'm saying sorry of course the H Rewind Dark Circle Erasers by Maybelline everywhere you would conceal then a little trick of mine is I like to spray the a setting spray, especially this one by Jarrah Cosmetic and Slay, onto my beauty blender and then I start blending my concealer. I see that it helps keep my concealer in place around, do, throughout the day. Now we are going to bake our face and I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brining Powder and I'm applying it everywhere I pretty much apply the concealer and I want my makeup to stay in place and I don't want it to move anywhere. So we're gonna bake that face for about 10 to 15 minutes and what I like to do is I like to move on to my eyebrows and do my eyebrows while my face bakes. One day I will do an eyebrow tutorial, one day. Now I'm going into uh, highlight. This is the last part. I used the highlight champagne pop by Becca. And then I'm using the NYX. Uh, this is a powder foundation. This is just going to help blend easily the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. So I'm just pretty much putting bronzer everywhere. And then with a clean brush, I like to remove the powder, translucent powder. And with another brush, I like to go into my under eyes. And this one, I'm using the NYX Banana just to brighten it a little bit more. Wait, a lot more. Then I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Blush. You can use any blush you like. And I'm just applying a little bit. Then I'm going in with lots of highlight. Becca and Jaclyn Hill. And blending everything. Now moving on to hair, we are going to be applying the Bellamy Bugatti Extensions. 
and this is how I'm going to show you how I use 340 grams 22 4 inches 22 inches longs of hair in this short ass hair of mine first I like to straight iron everything if my irons it's if my extensions is straight I like to straight everything and then I like to apply a little bit of dry shampoo bio silk right now and I like to part my hair very on the bottom part and what I like to do is I like to fold my hair because those little hair short hairs can look can you can see them on the side and they don't look pretty good so I just pretty much put bobby pins and I just make sure that I rolled my hair into like a twisty all over doesn't have to be perfect you are definitely going to be placing one weft of the extensions onto this twisty roll and then I'm moving on pretty much doing the same thing all over my hair so I'm just parting my hair and pretty much just going to be applying my hair extensions all over my hair So when it comes to the side of my face, I like to grab these little pieces of hair and as well twist them, roll them to the back and pinch the extension there. This also helps those little hairs not show on the side and then it looks kind of uneven. I like to place the extensions very, very close to my face. And then I just continue doing the same thing over and over again. And this completes the look. I hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me. This is pretty much my signature go-to look when I'm trying to look a little bit on the dramatic side. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, show me love on the comment section below. Thank you so much. Besotes. I'll see you ladies on my next video. Bye.